buddy. Hopefully this is understandable. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, that's different. We're gonna go ahead and mess with the Mustang this time. I want to check some things and see what I can do in terms of keeping it from causing blackouts. Uh, it tends to win in a fight cause me to black out more than not me than the character than the uh, the uh, the uh, 325 does and also I haven't shown you guys the inside of this one so it does tend to get a little glitchy but actually maybe I have shown you this one but anyway there's the front typical seat and all that stuff. I would walk up to it, but I can't. At least not yet. And then there's this. This one here. Now, I think I've shown you this much of it. So, but I haven't shown you flying. So we're going to do that today. <coughs> Sorry about that. While we're at it, once I get this thing into space, which hopefully if I do it right I can spare you guys from. So I want to... Oops. Uh, let's try this again. Alright. Here. here, just for giggles, and then I'll stop the thing from recording. Now, I'm going to go through and get the weapons ready, make sure everything is turned on. But that's fine. And everything's balanced. And the shields are balanced. Good enough. Now, now pr previously I have been using the mouse to try and fly around with. Now I'm going to go ahead and try and use the stick and make sure that... What control is that? Huh. Oh, right. Helps if I get out of that. Ah, there it is. It has a reasonable amount of firepower. So as you can see, this is me using a stick to control it. It's a little more, I suppose you might say, responsive. That's still a little glitchy, but... So, let's see what we have here. Punching it up. Now, it's not quite as fast as the, uh, the 325, but I think it's more maneuverable because it's a lighter... See, this is what I was trying to avoid. Blacking out thing. A little more maneuverable. Actually, a lot more maneuverable. Firepower, which is interesting. So, I don't know. Maybe the other one was kind of. Oh, and it has a better. Uh, housing area as well. So. doesn't get the shimmies as much as the other one either. I don't know. And the door won't close. <laughs> well, hatch. But, yeah.
just when it's level. Which is cool. Look, no blacking out. Oh my goodness. What a shock. I'm on the platform and not blacking out. Every, what is it, six seconds? Okay, so that said, since I think this may be not the version I was, I was trying to get, but if it's the Gamma, that's fine. And it would make sense because the Gamma has more firepower. So I'm going to do this again. Yep. Er. Yeah, Gamma. Nope, it's a Beta 3. Okay, cool. I think it's more firepower than I thought it had. <laughs> okay, so... Nope, that's the Gamma. Beta 3 doesn't have that paint job. spacecraft and was reasonably well oh, and by the way the no that's not water that's uh, something else bare metal I don't know anyway so dual guns there guns nope it's not the gap because there's no missile launchers or rocket launchers or whatever so, okay. Answers that question. It is the beta. It just looks a little different in this light, I guess. Anyway, so back around. Run into the gun at least once. <laughs> yep. As convenient as it is to climb out through the roof when you're getting out, sometimes it's not. <laughs> Not that convenient. Why is it so dark in here? Somebody turn the lights on. Anyway, give me the space thing. Let's have a seat. Okay, so. See, that should be openable. This is supposed to have more openable compartments at some point, but anyway, I won't go through all the fine little nitty gritty details, oh well, what do you know, good enough, now, let's see how well we take off, oh. Gravity was going to keep going forever in that direction. Well, gravity being used loosely because I don't know what else to call it, but it apparently thought I was going to keep going in whatever direction I was going at the time. Okay, I'm still capable of hitting max speed, so. 
Maybe I didn't lose any parts. Hard to tell, to be honest. I guess I need to inject, I'll hit Alt L. I may test that just to see what it does. Let's see, free camera, free camera, where is it? I don't see it. Get mode. Hmm. I'll try that out and see if that's it. Doesn't do anything. Okay. All right. So let's test Alt L. Nothing. Maybe it's Control L. Nope. Nothing. This does not have an injection seat. We are screwed. I'm still trying to find stuff. Okay, so M is match velocity, Alt M is look ahead mode. shift. Alright. Now, go into exterior view. <laughs> hey, what do you know? We can look at the ship. Maybe. Kinda, sorta. See, that's annoying. It won't let me do that, though. There we go. Can I zoom out? Alright. Well, everything looks intact. nothing fell apart as much as defying the laws of physics and falling through the platform. <laughs> uh, well, that's okay. We can defy the laws of physics. We're special. Alright, let's get back in the ship and continue on our way because we can.
actually let me test that okay i'm at 200 right now pulling into a turn so it is adjusting it's just not adjusting it quickly enough <laughs> very loosely used. I should be okay. Oh, let's try an asteroid. No. smaller and more maneuverable than the other one. Better sleeping area. I don't know. Whoa, that's the wall. I don't want the wall. Except the space station over there. And it's, it's a pretty reasonable way of ways. Ways away. Can't talk. Talking, yes. Optional. Anyway, so. Not bad, I have to say. Overall, with a stick, with a joystick, if you will, this flies really well. switched so I had to switch them back but anyway so let's go back to the hangar and grab the uh, the other one the 325 so I'm gonna hit yes here and then I'll 
see you back, the, back in the hangar. Operation. And here we are back in the hangar. And instead of manually going to the other ship, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the menuing system in this. As soon as I remember to do this, hit the tab key to select the Origin Jump Works 325A. And then we'll go same area. Eh, let's go for a change of scenery. And then launch this. And again, I'll see you in space. Okay, and here we are Origin in space. Jump works at your service. Back in the Core system operational. So, now, let's uh, stop pointing in that general direction. And level off. Or something approximating level. That's one thing I wish this thing had, is some kind of level meter. That's what I like about the, the Mustang. So, let's punch it. And have some fun. Let's see what we can do here. Okay, as you can see, now if I'm pulling full G's, we don't black out. Well, except for an extended session. But generally, we can pull pretty high G's okay because the ship will not let us well it'll appear I should say that we're pulling high G's but in fact what we're doing is coasting while the ship tries to adjust to what we're doing if I keep doing this we will eventually black out I think I don't want to find out <laughs> not yet but that said has time to adjust to what we're doing by using the compensation system, which is apparently not enabled. <laughs> there we are. There. Gotta remember to do that. I don't know why it wasn't enabled to begin with. That's weird. But, anyway. So, very stable ship. survive the encounter. <laughs> I don't think it's a very friendly situation. So... Uh, do I even bother landing this thing? Probably not. Nah, I'm not gonna. We've seen where that goes. It's generally someplace unpleasant. Until they fix this ship, I just suggest avoid the landing platforms, don't try manual exploring, unless you like not being able to get back into your ship and take off. Or if you are going to manually explore, just do so with the expectation of having to commit suicide and come back. So, just my two cents there. Now, if you don't mind doing that, feel free to have fun, go for it. Sooner, but no guarantees, obviously. Yeah. Can I fly through that? Hello? Right. So, I think when I was fighting the Van Duel, which I didn't record, at least I don't think I did, I was able to fly through here. So let's find out. Maybe enough room, especially if I do this. 
warning, collision four. Yes. Can't do it. Cool. Now, how much do I trust my skills? As minimal as they are at this point. Let's floor it. See what happens. Warning, collision four. Yay, we made it. Crosshairs centered in the opening, right? Before I even let it go. So it's just point and shoot. <laughs> Starboard. I don't know what I'm doing. Stupid machine, stop warning me. Well, no, I actually don't. <laughs> Alright, so. Anyway. Overall, I'd say that this is pretty. Really decent ship. With a few minor drawbacks that will hopefully be fixed when the game is next updated. Because I really don't like not being able to close my doors and to take off again. Or, and to not take off again as a result. If I don't open the doors, if I don't leave the ship when I'm on a platform, I'm fine. I can take off. But if the minute I do that, everything goes bye-bye. anything that isn't, or that has anything to do 
of space, you can take a nap and stare up at the rocks floating above your head. <laughs> and when you're ready, just get back up and, and step around. special or what? Why does that seem to that? Hey, another bug. Anyway, so that said, there are my little thing thing. Not sure if it's gonna let me. Actually. Origin jump works at your service. Core system operational. Refreshing shields. Come on. Shields at full strength. Shields. Shields at full strength. the edge. Alright, let's take a look outside and see if we still have our landing gear and stuff. <laughs> oh, wait, I want the other view. Well, actually, the landing gear should be retracted, and it looks like it is. Oh, that's a nice looking ship, isn't it? Alright, so, look at those engines. to that, but I don't want to be too close. Okay, so I'll go ahead and hit the brakes. Now, are there any other brakes? Come on. Look at that gun. But now, well, how do I get missile? Do I even have missiles? I have them, but I'm not sure how to launch them. <laughs> That's funny. Can I launch the missiles? Let's find out. No, oh, wait. No, that's not what I want. I want to get back to the cabin. And then. See that now. Oops. <laughs> All right. That's 
done. Now, let's look outside the ship. Yeah, hold right hand shift. Countermeasure active. Chap, countermeasure active. Chap, countermeasure active. Chaff launched. Player countermeasure active. Chap, countermeasure active. Chaff launched. Player countermeasure active. Chaff, countermeasure active. Chaff launched. Yep, we're out of ammo. Player countermeasure active. Flare launched. Flare launched. By the way, I'm hitting Z. X and C chooses which one either flares or chaff. And C launches whatever you have selected. So, anyway. As special as that must be. I still don't know how to fire the missiles, which I have, but. How do I fire them? Hmm. I wonder if they're just for looks. They shouldn't be, I mean, otherwise they wouldn't be there. So, we'll go into... Hmm. Well, let's try power and see if they're turned on. They're disabled or something. I don't get it. Maybe there's not enough power. So if I turn off.
Anyway, so. I guess we can call that good for now. I'll figure it out later. See if I can read the manual on the aircraft or something. Or aircraft. Spacecraft. So, anyway, that said. Uh. <laughs> pardon me. Sneeze came out of nowhere. Anyway, that said, I guess that's it for now. Have fun. Later.